Hi everyone, I'm back with the third episode. In the previous episode, we learned about function tools. Now we are going to learn overlay menu, animation, and layer menu. So here we start. Through the first option, you can control the transparency of your image. Now, symmetry x-axis is going to give you control of the horizontal sides of the image. Whatever you write on each side will be mirrored on the other side of image. Symmetry Y axis is scaling the vertical side of this animation and as you see whatever I'm drawing is being displayed on all four sides of this image. As I select this hidden button you see the layer is gone. I can even uh, hide it from the upper part of this frame as well. See it's back again and now hidden. With this lock button, you can lock each layer and can unlock it again when you need it back. It is used to draw an outline of some object. I have taken a smiley here and you can see it outlined. This button is going to enable lock transparency and uh, it's going to be effective when you're working on different layers. With move upward button, the selected layer is going to be above all other layers on the layer panel. With this button, I am cloning this layer next to the same image. Now this button allows you to merge all layers that you have in your layer panel. Add pattern button allows you to add uh, whatever pattern that you want. And the next button is going to remove the pattern if you don't want it anymore. By clicking get palette, I got a new palette created from first 24 colors and the colors on my color palette are completely changed now. If you need to add some image to this animation, you can add it from here. This button allows you to rename your animation as I want to name it Pixel Studio. So here it goes. From delete layer option, you can delete as much layers as much you want. Now the menu drop box has all these tools and with the create tool I can create a new project up to the number of pixels that I want. Even you can choose the transparent black and white options as well. I want transparent so here it is. So it is your profile and you can check the draw time and each check in here even the number of pixels and tabs you have done yet. You can open any picture or image from this option like I have chosen this one so it's open now. In communities you will find all these sites linked with Pixel Studio. You can download anything from here and can share with friends as well. The save option allows you to save it in many formats like PSP, PNG, GIF and Sprite Sheet. If you need some help, you can press this button and from share, you can share it on any of the below given sites in your chosen format. From tutorials, you can have a list of pixel art tutorials. Uh, I'm selecting this one. Let's have a look at it. If you like this tutorial animation, you can even make one like this. It gives you a preview option as well. You can zoom it and zoom out. From about, you can email and write a review about uh, Pixel Studio, you can check some vouchers as well. Through settings, you can select or unselect the required options it has for user and the system as well. From here, I can choose my language. If I choose India, it's converted into Hindi language. If you select save and quit, you can resume from exactly same page where you left. Now rate Pixel Studio if you like it and we are done with the menu tools here. In the next episode we are going to learn and draw animation.